<laughs> you go. Good last time. Yes, you did. Two, three. <laughs> uh, 92A, Mercer Street, Fellowsburg. Um, hello, everyone. Good evening. Um, I want to thank the panel, everyone, and everyone here for the opportunity to speak, for starters, and also to the amazing response and outpour by so many people that had no idea that my son, who's back there, who didn't want to come up there with me, okay, just turned 17, as I told you, has been volunteering with me in the trenches for the past three years. Um, guys, none, no one really knew this is what we were doing, this is what we've been doing. Um, and it feels very nice, it feels really great that, you know, People have said, wow, thank you, you know, and it makes me feel good. Um, not that I need a pat on the back by anybody or, you know, a parade or kumbaya or whatever. You know, to me, it's what we should do as a community. It's what we should do as people. Um, like I stated last time when I spoke, the reality of our community here in Phillipsburg and across the nation we all are used to our repetitive financial situation. We work on Monday, we get paid on Friday, or every two weeks on Friday, and all it takes is that one situation to break that flow, and now we're chasing our financial situation. Whether it's through my child's sick, I can't go to work, I don't care if I got a job tomorrow, I'm slapping this chick today, you know, <laughs> or, the train derailed, fell on 22, which is the only way to get from Phillipsburg to wherever you have to go. The bottom line still remains, we are all a ham sandwich and a hot wing away from homelessness. All it takes is one false move. Okay? With that being said, a lot of things that I've noticed, because my son and I have had to be self-sufficient for so long, and I still am in that same mentality always, is that self-sufficiency, self-reliance, needs to be taught and emphasized to our youth. People, adults, we're all guilty of it. We need something, oh my gosh, let's go to the store. Or there, or there. Case in point, when uh, Hurricane Sandy went down, and people were lined around the corner to get coffee. Oh my gosh, I have no power. I can't turn my coffee maker on. But where was I? I had my little barbecue grill outside and my metal cook pot, and I was heating up water, and I was showing folks how to do this, that, and the third, and whatnot, because we need to have self-reliance, self-sufficiency, not a hand out, but a hand up. Ms. Cooper. That was my focus for the garden. We only have a two-minute time limit. No see. problem. I apologize. Um, my focus for the garden, and I'm very happy to see Mayor Ellis here today. Um, as he and I spoke numerous times, uh, my focus is I want to have the community garden to have the children actually work on it, have one, the first harvest, where we actually donate to soup kitchens, food banks in our community. Second, we have a um, farmer's market where stipend goes back into <coughs> our farm. My question to you is that uh, we have spoken numerous times about this, and when I presented, which I thought you were going to be here last time, Ms. I said thank Cooper. you, you weren't here. Ms. Cooper, unfortunately, you're not allowed to address your questions towards oh, the mayor. I didn't no, know. that's okay. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's as a courtesy. Oh, I didn't know. No, that's okay. Um, but I'm sure the mayor would be more than willing to, unless, Mayor, if you don't want to answer now, you're more than, would you rather no, speak to her? I have no problem answering. Okay. okay. I'm sorry, I didn't, I'm over No, here. that's okay, I just don't, I don't want to <laughs> straight to quorum, and the last thing I want is to see the mayor have to answer something if you, oh, okay. The mayor's office is behind the garden, but of course we have to follow, you know, the health uh, protocols, especially when dealing with railroad soil. It has to be simple, as I shared. 
and we also have to uh, nail down the lease, which is uh, the responsibility of council and our uh, town, town attorney. So it's all possible. It just can't do it tomorrow morning. It's a little cumbersome. It is, the area's been cleaned up, as you know, by the help of the Philsburg Police Department. That was the first step. Second step, of course, as I said, is sampling a lease, and then we could work out some type of agreement where we could start a garden. I just can't do it tomorrow morning. I have to be honest with you. You have to be kind. I need you to be kind. Okay. We did. We do have a two-minute time limit. So if you if you have a quick rebuttal, just not thirty seconds, I can give you. If not, I would request that you speak with the mayor out in the hallway. Time started? Go. Okay, on January 24th, you and I you spoke. You have to address the council. On January 24th, he and I spoke, and he told me flat out, verbatim, that I would do more with the area for the community <coughs> garden than the veterans would ever do, and that he was giving it to me that the lease was already signed near topsoil, fencing, and camera. So. Where, where is this other conversation coming from? Unfortunately, I don't have those facts at this point in time, but what I will say is um, I will speak with the mayor's office, um, and then maybe we can we can all meet together, myself, the mayor, and you. Would that be would that be agreeable? Mayor, would you be willing to do something like that? Ms. Cooper, I will reach out to you first thing tomorrow morning as soon as I hear back from the mayor, and we will set up that meeting. Sounds good. Thank okay, you. Thank you're very you welcome. Thank you. You're welcome.